Hey there, y'all. It's me, Barb. How y'all doing? I hope you're doing all right. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I just want to say hi to my beautiful besties and any of you that are viewing today. I hope you're doing all right. And I want to say hi to Valerie and Monica and Yummy and Nerd Bama and Eugene and Team Kranz. I think that's how you pronounce it, isn't it, Team Kranz? Anyway, you all, hi to all of you beautiful besties and anyone who wants to watch. And we've got six cookies today. Oh my gosh, six cookies. But before we start, are we ready? And crumble cookies, crumble cookies, warm and delicious, soft and sweet. They can't be beat, I'm singing. Oh, what a tree they can be. Beat. Ba -da -bum. Woo! Okay, we're at cookie time now. And, um, oh my goodness, we are going to have to roll it, roll it, roll it, scroll it. But anyway, um, all righty. Well, what a weird day today. It's so wild because now our nights are getting so cold, like in the 30s and 20s. But then during the day, it's in the 40s to the 60s. I don't know what's going on. Today, I think the high is like 40, 41, and it doesn't matter. But anyway, I hope you all are out there staying warm or staying cool if you're too hot. But, you know, you could be anywhere. Um, anyway, so let's let's take a quick overview. And I'll show you what's going on here. Oh my goodness, you all. What a week we have. It's mystery week again, you all. So some of your places you can go and get a different one later this week. Some, some are doing mystery cookies every day. Some are doing them three times a week. Some are doing them twice a week. Some are just doing the one. So you want to ask or check on your app. Okay, so we got here today the butterscotch chip. And that's a new one, you all. Can you see that little puppy? Yeah, that's a new one. And then we have the... A uh, mint brownie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We've got the sugar gold coin. I don't know if you can see that. The light schmeich. There you go. There's that little sugar gold coin. This is the cookies and cream. And this one is the mystery cookie here in Asheville, North Carolina. That's the French silk pie. And then we have the mallow cream featuring Lucky Charms. Let me see if you can see that. Lucky. Oh, this light schmeich. Well, you'll see it in a minute. Lucky Charms, magically delicious. Okay, so we'll have to dive in. <laughs> I tell, you know, sometimes I wake up and go, I'm not going to do it this morning. And then something takes a hold of me. And before I know it, I'm here talking with you all. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to start with something very mild. You know how I like to do that. And, um, you know, they have, uh, now this week they only have the mint choc uh, the milk chocolate chip as the regular. They, do, they don't have the um, pink sugar cookie, but they have the sugar gold coin instead. But that does not have almond, um, real almond paste in it. But um, anyway, so this is like, um, a, well, let me tell you what it is. Here it is. Here you go. A so some sweet vanilla smoothness with a chocolate gold coin on top. Don't spend it at all. Don't spend it all in one place. I, you know what? I should have checked to see what they do with the little cookies for catering. I don't know. Well, let's take a bite, right? This is a chilled cookie. It's a sugary cookie because it's a sugar cookie. You know, for me, one out of ten, one, you're going to get sick on the side of the road, never want to hear or speak of it again. And, um, 10, you can't stop thinking about it. You're going to tell all your friends and families and, and going to come back for more. Um, it's too sugary for me, you all. It's a fine cookie. I mean, it's not bad if you like sugar cookies. Some people love crumble cookie, sugar cookies, so you probably give it a 10. For me, I think it's a 6. But anyway, that's what it is. I'm sure the chocolate gold, gold coin is fun. I wonder who's going to get that in the family. Okay. Oh, I'm already feeling it. Oh, that's sad. What's going to happen in a little while? Um, and the next cookie we're going to try is the cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. Sugar, sugar. Doo, 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 doo. Here you go. Um, this is um, the cookies and cream, a marbling of chocolate and vanilla cookies, all topped with a 
white chocolate drizzle and a crumbly cookie pieces. Well, that is a fun looking cookie, I have to say. I don't, I mean, I think I might have tested this before, I'm not sure. <sighs> I gotta calm down. Um, Anne had said in the comments that she drinks with milk. I've done it with milk before, so I brought a little milk today. It was her birthday this week. Happy birthday, Anne. I think Sherry's birthday was this week, and oh gosh, somebody's husband was this week. I can't remember who. Oh, you know. Hello, hubby. <laughs> okay. Cookies agree, but let's take a bite, right? Now, I definitely like this cookie more than the sugar cookie. Not too sweet. Nice crunch on the top. You know how the, some of the chocolate cookies are so strong. This one is a nice combo. I want to get to, let's break it open. Ooh, there's the white chips inside. <laughs> That's a lot of white chips, you all. Okay, let's take a bite in here. See what's going on. <laughs> mm. I like this cookie. I give it an eight and a half or a nine. Mm. I think when it cools off, it would be an eight. But right now when it's warm, I think it's a nine. So I'll, I'll say it's an eight and a half. Mm. Oh, I'm loving it so. I'm loving it so. It's so beauty. Oh, you all. I'm sorry about that sun. That sun's messing with me today. You all. I know that it's really hard times in some of your old home where you live, but I tell you where I live in Western North Carolina, I, you know, we always get a snow, a couple of snows in March and sometimes in April. I told you that we haven't gotten much snow, but now I'm beginning to wonder if we're going to get any snow. I do a winter hammock, you know, I do a little hammock, seasonal hammock time last year and I wanted to finish it off this past winter and I haven't, I'm just going to have to get out in that hammock. And then if it snows in April, I'll do it. But it is so pretty. All the pear, I'm looking right now at all the pear trees, the phlox is blooming, the red buds, the cherries. Oh my gosh. Oh, beauty, beauty, beauty. Oh, for goodness sakes, I'm messing up my little, my little outfit, scout fit. I was trying to make sure I wore green for, you know, St. Patrick's Day. I wasn't going to do it because I said, I said, if Crumble's not celebrating, I'm not celebrating. But then they came out with the Lucky Charms. And they had a mint brownie, so I said, well, I'll step it up. And <laughs> I had to grab something last minute. Actually, I was going to wear this for a, a Dunkin', but um, I don't know. I'll figure that out. When the, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Okay, we've done two. Two down. So, um, and uh, two down, four to go. But we have, um, boop, 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 boop. I would say the cookies and cream is definitely a thumbs up, a solid thumbs up. And um, Eugene had asked me to say if I would buy or not. I... I, Eugene, I think that's a great idea. For me, I don't think it's really fair for me to say that because some days I'm stingy with my money and some days I'm not. So that has nothing to do with the cookies. Um, I probably wouldn't spend, and you said $5. The cookies are 4 So So um, the sugar cookie I probably wouldn't buy. The cookies and cream I'd definitely consider because I really like that cookie. But anyway, um, cookies and cream definitely thumbs up. Sugar cookies kind of like, well, for me, it's really kind of like this. And I gave it a six, so you'd think it'd be like this, but I gotta go like this, so it's too sugary. Okay, next we are, oh, it's a marshmallow world in the springtime. Do you know what cookies I'll do? It's the mallow cream featuring Lucky Charms, magically delicious. I just, you remember that commercial? Growing up, I never had muck, lucky, mucky charms. <laughs> I never had lucky charms growing up. I mean, maybe I did, but I certainly don't remember. Maybe when I was visiting a neighbor, you know, on an overnight sleepout. Do you remember overnight sleepouts? Going to somebody else's house. I remember when I was like six and I first started going. Now, I didn't pee my bed. And, you know, if somebody does, that's okay, you know. And if you do, if you're out there and you pee your bed, well, sometimes it's mechanical. You can't help it. I got to fix my necklaces. I gotta fix them. <laughs> anyway, um, but um, I remember when I was six and I first went on my first sleepover uh, at Sue's house. Um, and I remember I brought like 
six pairs of underwear because I was so afraid I was going to pee my bed. I don't think I, I guess I thought I was going to pee it six times, but it was, I, it's kind of like, that's how I was growing up. Like Tess, I would always have like four or five pencils just in case the lead broke. Did you overdo those kind of crazy things? Anyway, here you go. Share it if you did. Okay. This is the Mallow Cream featuring Lucky Charms. Magically delicious. Okay. Um, inspired by an iconic cereal. Rich with white drops, vanilla marshmallow frosting, and Lucky Charms marshmallows sprinkled on top. So those are Lucky Charms marshmallows. See the little clover and the moons and a little present and a rainbow. Magically delicious. I don't know what the other, I think there's like two presents. And oh, there's a heart. You see the little heart? That's a heart right there. Okay. And there goes that seafood truck again, right on cue. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Now, I don't know about this, you all, but let's try it. I'll, I'll bite right into the heart. <laughs> okay. So the icing, they say it's a vanilla marshmallow frosting. I was excited about that. I don't recall having this one. But it tastes, got that sour, it got, it has that, um, I should say sour cream in it. What is it? It has that, I can't think you all. It has that, um, that cream cheesy, I can't remember what it is. It's a very sweet cookie again. It's too sweet for this girl. I'm entirely to take another bite. Let's see inside, it's got the little, little white chips too. That's a lot of different flavors. You get the crunch, you get the real... Um, and this frosting's a little lighter than the um, sugar gold coin, um, so it's fluffier. Um, and uh, I think the kiddos will like this, especially if they're not chocolate lovers. It's too sweet for me, but let me take another little bite. Mm-hmm. What's fun about this cookie is you get a lot of textures. You get the crunch on the outside, the softness of the cookie on the inside, the light whip stuff. Then the white chips, that's a mellower taste, and then the the little marshmallows. Ooh, it's too sweet for this girl, but other people give it a 10. For me, magically delicious. I just like saying that. Um, I would say, what would I say? I would say um, five. Yeah, and maybe that sugar cookie's a five for me, too. I love you, Crumble, but whoo. Ooh, I'm going to take a little milk. That milk kind of softens the um, all that sugar. I'm a skim milk eater, drinker. I don't, I mean, I'll take a two percenter, but I don't know. Some people said, oh, that's not really milk. Well, uh, whatever. For me, tomato, tomato, every, everybody's different. We got a lot of vegetables in the, <laughs> we got a lot of vegetables in the garden, you all. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the sugar is a rose. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Why do birds fall in love? This is my bird nest. <laughs> okay, we have done three, er, and three more to go. And so as far as thumbs up, thumbs down, Lucky Charms is going down. It's too much for me, but it's a lot going on. It'll be fun for some people. Oh, you all, doing six. Woo, okay, I gotta keep moving. Moving, moving, moving. Keep this girl, I'm moving. Woo, okay. Um, oh, goodness. Can I do that one right now? Okay, I'm gonna try. Here we go. Do you know which one I'm doing? I'll give you a little hint. Do you see that? <laughs> okay, this is the mint brownie. Oh my goodness, for those who love brownies, with a minty zing topped with a chocolate ganache. Oh, that chocolate ganache, ooh! I tell you, now that is a pretty cookie. Nice for, uh, for St. Patty's Day. I would say, oh, I, I kind of remember this. Oh, 
I'm looking forward to it. Okay, clear the deck, clear it, erase, delete. <laughs> you know how some people go, delete, delete? Well, if you delete, delete, then you're right back to where you started from. I don't know if that's really true. I gotta fix my necklace. You know, I know I fidget a lot. Hey, it kind of comes with the territory, you all. You know, I don't have any any uh, agents or managers telling me what to do. <laughs> they go, oh, Barbara, you will mess. Anyway, um, I, the mint brownie, it makes me think of Girl Scouts, you know. Did you guys go to Girl Scouts? I was a brownie, and I remember my fly-up ceremony. Now, a fly-up ceremony is after brownies. I think brownies is two years. I might be wrong. And then we had a little wooden bridge that you walk over, you fly over to become a Girl Scout, like a real Girl Scout. Like I think it's Junior Girl Scouts. And I remember, I have something in my pocket that belongs across my face. I keep it very close at hand in a most convenient place. I know you'll never guess it if you guess a long, long while. I'll take it out and put it on. It's a great big brownie smile or Girl Scout smile or scouting smile. Anyway, ah, I'm worn out, you all. I tell you, I had another vegetable day. I call my vegetable days when I just kind of sit around. Well, my feet have been having problems again. Oh, you all, what a puzzle. And um, it's quite a challenge, but um, I think uh, Penny is a fixer. So she looked online and she got me these, um, these uh, Hoka sandals. Let me show them to you. And see, and they kind of have a rock to it, but they have a really thick bed. And I just wore those yesterday. They're too small for me. We're going to order something different, but... They already, I've already felt relief. I don't, I don't have the pain that I had before. Oh, so nice. I hope it stays that way. Okay, let's go on. Let's go on. This is the new cookie, you all. Oh, this is a warm cookie. Mine's not as warm as it could be because, you know, I jibber jabber, jibber jabber, jibber jabber. What is it? Pick a little, tuck a little, pick a little, tuck a little, chip, 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 tuck a lot, pick a little more, pick a little, tuck a little, pick a little, tuck a little, chip, 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 tuck a lot, pick a little more, pick a little, tuck a little, pick a little, tuck, chip, 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 pick a little, tuck a little, chip. I skipped a little first because it was taking so long. What's that from you all? Oh, I was got tickled. Some of you are starting to guess the songs. I love that. Anyway, or not guess them, you know them. Okay, so. This is the butterscotch chip. It's a new cookie. It says a sweet and smooth duo of butterscotch chips and flaky salt. You can kind of see that salt in there. Mm -hmm. These chips look so orange. I was talking to the manager, Rebecca, and she said that when they put them in the oven, they weren't so orange, but when they came out, they were like that. Who knows? Hum. Mari body um. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take a bite, right? Okay, I'd be done by now. Okay, would I be? Yeah, I've already done four. Okay, one, two, three. Wait a minute. I know. <laughs> I am sorry, you all. Oh, I talked about the mint brownie. I sang it, and then I never tested it. <laughs> okay, let's get to business. Here's the mint brownie. Already get for those who love brownies and minty zing topped with chocolate ganache. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Okay, let's take a bite. You probably are going, wait a minute, Barbara. You're all yelling at me on the screen. Wait a minute, Barbara. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, so I've done three. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. The ganache is divine. Very light. Very rich. The chocolate cookie is a deep, rich chocolate cookie. That mint icing is nice and light. It's like when you bite into it, it's like a soft Girl Scout, you know, mint cookie. Oh, I'm going to take another bite. I'm going to keel over. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I'll fly away, oh mint brownie. I'll fly away in the morning. I'll fly away. I love you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Woo -hoo! Doo -doo! Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> well, that's a ten. 
Am I being too nice? It could be a nine and a half. It couldn't be just a nine. That mint brownie, whoo, but it's rich. Maybe I'm just sensitive this morning. Maybe I didn't have enough protein this morning. I think I did. Okay, that mint brownie is good. I would definitely buy this, Eugene. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's very nice cookie. If you don't like mint, of course, you're not going to like it. If you don't like chocolate, you're not going to like it. I think it has a pretty good balance. The mint's a little strong, but it's a nice balance. Mmm, 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 mmm. Thumbs up. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Six cookies. I like some of these people who review. I'm not making fun of you now, but I just think it's amazing, y'all. You just take one bite. One bite. I am too indecisive. I've never been that way. I'm always trying to look at all the different angles of something. Sometimes I, I end up being too nice. Sometimes I end up being too harsh. Well, I guess we all are like that, right? Sometimes. Okay. Four down, two to go. That's where we are. Ho, ho, ho. St. Patty's Day. It's a holiday. St. Patrick's Day. Say hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I hope you have a good St. Patrick's Day for any of you out there that celebrate. And, you know... If you're at the office or your kids going to school, if you got a little green, just stick it on. We growing up had we had we'd wear orange if we were Scottish. Why? I'm Scottish descent and English descent and Dutch. So um, I put a little orange on, but I always make sure I had excuse me green on too. Excuse me. You see my little earrings? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Now, finally, we're back to where we were before. This is a warm cookie. This is the new cookie. At least you know which it is. This is that butterscotch chip, a sweet and smooth duo of butterscotch chips and flaky salt. Okay, dokie, it's a warm one. <sighs> Gotta take some more milk. I tell you, I probably won't do milk all the time, but today it's really nice with so many cookies. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite, right? <laughs> I'm thinking about this. I'm also watching these two big crows. I was excited that they were having a butterscotch. Let me break it open just so you can see. You can't really see the chips inside, but there are plenty of them on the top. See, they're packed. Okay. I'm going to take another bite. Crisp on the outside, warm on the inside. Something's happening with this. I like it when I bite into the chip. You taste that little touch of butterscotch, but then it leaves really quick. I don't know why. I think something in the dough. Maybe the dough's not sweet enough that it doesn't pull it out, or maybe it's too sweet. I don't know what it is. Let me take another bite. Okay, there it is. At the end, maybe it's the salt. Something happens where it kind of goes away. I like it when that butterscotch lingers on you. Maybe not as much salt or something. I'm not sure what it is. It's an interesting cookie. It's a fun, different kind of cookie. Would I buy it? Probably yes. Um, one to ten? Um... For interest, I'd say a nine. Mm, dropped. <laughs> I'll set it here now. If it falls on the floor, don't eat it, children. <laughs> um, when you bite into it, there's a lot of butterscotch chips, so when you bite into it, that's really nice. I think the salt may be taking away from it a little bit. Maybe they thought it was too sweet with just 
the butterscotch, but I like the taste of butterscotch to linger. When I take a bite with the edges where it's more crispy, it kind of takes away the, um, the butterscotch taste. When you taste the middle, that butterscotch stays with you like a butterscotch brownie, you know, brownie. I like it. It might be a nine. It has something about the edge. I think it's the salt. The salt messes with me. I don't think it needs the salt. I would say because of the salt, it's an eight. But take the salt away. It'd probably be a nine. I don't know. Mm. Something, anyway, it's not quite meshing yet, but it's almost there. You can tell. Um, whoa! You all, we have done five cookies. <laughs> okay. Um, hey, you all. Never mind. I'm not going to tell you. I was going to, well, I'll tell you now that I said I wasn't going to tell you. I just, I'm trying to find that balance of shorts and longs and how often do I, if you're getting tired of me, maybe I just post once a week or twice a week. And then I go, well, you know, I get more viewers if I post shorts. So I'm just trying to figure all that out, you know. Um, I'm a floopy doop. Anyway, um, and I'm trying to look at the long run, you know. Okay, so if I do something like one week, doesn't mean I'm going to do it that way all the time. So don't give up. Don't give up on me, baby. Do, do, do. Oh, see. Oh, I tell you, my dresser just didn't have me quite right today. Anyway, okay, we're on the last one. This is the mystery cookie. Now, every city might be different with their mystery cookie. So let me know what your mystery cookie is this week and let me know how you thought about it. Um, let me know how, if, if you're celebrating St. Patrick's Day, what you do. Some of you guys were telling me about things you do. Jenny May, Jenny May was making, oh, Irish, Irish boiled fruit cake, I guess. I, I'm not going to remember everything wrong. Sorry, Jenny May. But she was making, uh, potato muffins, I think. And Irish apple cake, I think. Anyway, I just thought it all sounded delicious. I've never had any of those. Anyway, okay. Our mystery cookie is, and this is, I found out from the manager, excuse me, some other icing from another cookie got on it. This is in celebration of Pi Day, which is tomorrow, 3.14. On and on it goes, which I don't know. Okay. Our mystery cookie is the French silk pie. Ooh. <laughs> Come to Barbara, my pretty. Come over here, my little sweetness. Mm. Oh, gosh. Mm. This is like going to lie in bed with clean sheets. You know, when you're really tired, you took a shower, you washed your hair, you're so tired and somebody cleaned the clean the sh wash the sheets for you and the bed is nice and crisp and cool or you're in a nice hotel those Hampton Inns have nice beds and you climb in the sheets and everything feels good and yummy and you just lie down and you fall asleep that's what this cookie is it is just a be perfect balance well there's a little more brownie than it needs to be I don't mind but this this chocolate mousse did I read it well I, we don't have anything to read this chocolate mousse is so light and good not too chocolatey. That that lightens it up a bit. R little chocolate ch chip curls on there. Little chocolate curls on there. This is a delight. This is a total delight, you guys. This French silk pie. It's a definite 10, 11, 12. This is my winner, winner cookie dinner today. This is my um, number one. Two thumbs up to the moon and back. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, yeah. Come on, babies. Ooh. Ooh, child. Things are going to get easier. I'm going to eat this little corner right now. Mmm. Mmm. What a perfect one to end on. Oh, yeah. Mmm. That is nice to end on that one, you all. Oh, so number one is our French silk pie. Number two is the mint brownie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know what I rated them all. You can figure it out. Um, I'll put timestamps on, but the cookies and cream might be number three. The butterscotch, number four. 
And then the other two. Well, for interest, I'd say Lucky Charms, even though I rated it lower than the sugar cookie and then the sugar cookie. But everybody's different. So you guys go out and try it. Half the fun is trying them. Um, they're $4 a cookie, I believe. Of course, you have our state tax and all that crazy things. I don't know, y'all. I had fun. That was a lot of sugar. Oh, my goodness. And the time is a rolling. I know you have things to do. I know you got better things to do than hang out with me. Well, I don't know. But um, I like it when you hang out with me. Um, yeah, listen, y'all. If you're having a rough time today, just try to take a little time out. Go sit underneath a tree or go to a spot that makes you feel comfort. And just let yourself breathe and try to think of some good things in your life. And sometimes you just can't think of anything. Well, then just let yourself stare and breathe for a little while. One of the little things I do. Now, I'm no therapist. I'm no professional. <laughs> but sometimes if I'm really reeling, like you're just like you're just so angry or you're just so sad or upset or you're, you're confused. And the world's just zooming around you. Try to engage your left brain, like do some numbers, anything with numbers, add, subtract, multiply, you know, do things with numbers and that can kind of, it actually can calm you down or it has me in the past. Anyway, that's my little tidbit today. You all take good care of yourselves and I hope you have a wonderful pie day tomorrow and I hope you have a wonderful St. Patty's Day. Good luck to y'all and uh, take good care of yourselves and until the next time, tell you good neighbors. Bye-bye now.